what is time series forecasting? It's easiest to look at an example. Here I've got the demand of the Irish electrical grid and the y-axis shows the load in megawatts going from 3,000 to 5,000. The x-axis shows the progression of that load over a week. You can see it oscillating from day to night here uh, with a pattern of seven different peaks. Now, in the case of forecasting, what we want to do is feed in a pattern like this and then predict the continuation. And while this is for electrical demand, the methods I'm going to show you apply uh, generally and the models apply generally across many different time series problems, whether that's predicting traffic, predicting prices, predicting maybe uh, different aspects of pollution. Any case where you have some linear time series and you can have a continuation, you can consider using one of these forecasting models. To break it down into very simple terms, you can think of uh, some input data points and they are going to be evenly spaced because that's what the models today will require. If they are not evenly spaced in time, you could interpolate or extrapolate perhaps to generate an equally spaced time series. It can be hours, days, any uh, time of time, any type of time gap, provided that it's uniform in time. And you'll have an input series that then uh, the model is going to try and give you a prediction for the follow on output time series here. And depending on the model, either there'll be a fixed number of points that are predicted here, which will be the case of patch TST, often it's 64, or in the Kronos model, we will predict these outputs one at a time. So we'll predict the first, we'll pass it back in as an input, predict the next, the next, the next. That's known as an autoregressive model. That's also how the language models today work. And that will allow you to keep decoding as far as you like, understanding that as you go further out, the accuracy is going to decrease.